I'm really pleased to announce we have got a brilliant new integration that's going to transform your chatbots into interactive agents. And it's with this Zapier AI Actions. So what can happen now is you can connect your chatbot to a variety of different actions, thousands in fact, that enable your bot to be more interactive, to do things like book appointments or go and check on an order status if you're running an e-commerce store, send emails, basically do almost anything you can think of. And all we're going to do in this video is just run through a few examples and show you how to set it up. Currently, this integration is available for everyone on any of our paid plans from Essential upwards. So there's a lot of people who are going to benefit from this. So the first thing you'll see here is uh, our dashboard for Zapier Actions. And I've already got three actions there, two of which are enabled. You can load them into your account from Zapier. And the way that you do that is just to click add another action like this. And then this explains how it all works. But I'm going to run through it with you as well. So the first thing you'll need to do is to go ahead and get an API key from your Zapier account. So you can just click on this part here and then you'll see your API key there. You're going to copy that API key. And then now you can enter it in here where it says Zapier API uh, action or sorry, Zapier AI action API key. So we'll just put our code in just there. And then what that will do is connect to your Zapier account and then show all of the available actions that you have set up already. So what you'll notice is in your Zapier account just here, you'll see a section that says my actions. And then if you go to Zapier Custom, you go to Manage Actions and then a, a window like this will pop up. And then from there, you can go ahead and switch on and off various actions that you may have in your account. But if you don't have any, it's really simple to add a new one. You'll just click Add a new action like this. And then you'll do a search to find the action, the thing that you actually want to do, whether that's uh, create a, a spreadsheet entry or a, an email or send a Slack message. They, they, literally, there are thousands and thousands of different things. I mean, for example, if I was to just type in email here, it starts showing you um, all of the different platforms that you can connect to and have it send an email, for example. So, you know, maybe you prefer to use uh, Outlook instead of Gmail and you can have your chatbot uh, automatically send an email to the user once they provide their email address, things like that. So the options here are a crazy, limitless almost as to what you can get your chatbot to do. Now, once you've set up that action and you go to your account, you will see it here as an available action. And I'm just going to show you uh, an action uh, now that we have previously set up and explain how it works. So let's just go to the actions again. And I'm going to do um, this one here, which is to create a detailed uh, event in a Google Calendar. So currently that's the one that's enabled and we we'll go into it just here. And when you connect the action to your account, what will happen is all of these four, these different fields here will be populated. They'll be filled out automatically. And in most cases, you won't have to do a single thing. You can just leave everything how it is. But what I wanted to explain to you is that the name, the action name and the description here are what help your chatbot understand uh, what this action is and what it what it does and when to use it. So it's important to kind of make sure that the description here is detailed enough that the chatbot is, is going to go, OK, so they want to book um, you know, the user wants to book a meeting. I know I've got an action for that for Google Calendar and I can create a new event in that calendar using this action. So we're kind of giving, if you can imagine, we're kind of giving the chatbot all of these different tools that is at its disposal. And then it is these two fields here which determine when it chooses to use them. And it does a very good job with this. Even as standard, I, I don't think I've had to adjust any of these yet when my testing. But um, you can just literally make sure these are, are detailed enough for the chatbot to uh, understand what they're for and then move on. 
And then just down the bottom here, you'll see the action fields. These are the fields that uh, the chatbot will attempt to fill using the information it gets from the user. Uh, and we've got the calendar ID here. Then we've got uh, the end time, start time of the meeting and everything. If there's any fields in your particular Zapier AI action that you don't want, you can ask it to ignore them. Now, it can't ignore any of these because they're default. They have to have a value there. You're also able to go and manually type in a default value. So if, for example, you were sending an email and you had to do a CC message, you could CC in every email to your specific email address if you wanted to, you know, rather than having the chatbot fill out that information. So that's all there is to it, really. And once you've done your um, action, you've set it up and you've selected it here, you've made sure everything's OK, you can just click update action and then make sure it's enabled. And now that action will work. So let me just show you as a, a, an example here how this particular action works. This is to make a booking. First of all, we need to also put in the Tune AI section here in the instruction prompt. We need to tell it what its job is. Now it can have multiple jobs, but I've just put in here, your job is to help people book appointments for a FastBots demo. And then you only need to request their name and email address and phone number. And, and that's it. So now the chatbot knows what it's supposed to do. So if we go over to the overview section here, we can use our chatbot just right here and practice about with it. So I'm just going to say um, hi, and then let's have a little conversation with our chatbot with this interactive feature. Uh, so there you go. Hi there. I'm here to help you book a FastBots demo appointment to get started. Could you please provide me with the following? So I'm just going to put like my email here. Whoops, uh, there we go. And then I'm going to uh, put my uh, name. And then finally, a phone number. I can just put anything for the purpose of this. There we are. So there's the details that it needed, that it's requested. If we don't provide them all at this time, and maybe I just put my name, it will say, thanks for your name, but can I also have your email address and phone number? So it takes care of this. And now while it's scheduling that demo, it's got a please wait here. And what it's doing is just connecting uh, to Zapier. It's using that tool now, that action of uh, connecting to the calendar. And there you go. You can see perfect. I've scheduled a demo meeting for today at 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. And then you'll receive a calendar invitation shortly. And uh, yeah, exactly that. So now if I check my email, there will be a new calendar event come through and I've got that invitation. Now, that's a very simple demonstration of this in action. You could add more specific instructions to it just here, such as you must ask the user, you know, when is a convenient time and what time zone they're in. We can do all of that kind of thing um, so that the chatbot asks them all of the relevant questions to make a, a very accurate booking. So that was just a very kind of simple um, version of that task. Now then, what about if we want to do something uh, different? Let's go to the AI actions and I'm going to enable this one, which enables the uh, chatbot to send an email out. Very, very useful. And we've got the two, the body and the subject, just the three fields that need to be completed. We'll just disable this for the sake of this video and I'm going to enable this action here. As I say, you can actually have multiple uh, things enabled at once and it will just choose from there which one it wants to use. So I'm going to take uh, this prompt right here that I have and I'm going to change it out from that one. So you must answer questions using the information and then ask the user if they would like to receive an email with more information about how FastBots can help them. So that's great. I'm happy with that. We'll just click save. And now let's just uh, head over to our chatbot again and just try this out. So um, can you tell me, here we go, more about how uh, FastBots can help my dental practice? There we are. So first of all, it will respond as usual uh, using the information. And there we are. So uh, it, it's got 24 hours uh, customer service, multi-platform integration, lead generation and so on. 
But then it ends the message with, uh, would you like me to send you an email with detailed information about how uh, fast spots can specifically help your dental practice? So I'm just going to say, uh, yes, please. And then let's just see if it says, okay, great, but I need your email because that's what we want it to do there. Um, I'd be happy to send you detailed information, but I'll need your email address. So there we are. So I'm just going to say uh, my email is this. Whoops. And then we will just send that there. It might ask for the name as well. I'll send you detailed information uh, about how FastBots can benefit your dental practice right away. And there we are. So it's busy doing that right now. And uh, I will check my email and let's see if that has come up as well. And there it is done. So information you asked for. There we are. And then thank you for your interest uh, in FastBots. And then here's how our platform can transform your dental practices, digital presence and patient communication. So really good stuff. It's focused on the benefits that are specific to that particular user, i.e. after hours support and uh, appointment inqu inquiry handling and so on. Uh, and then uh, answers to common patient questions. And then there's the call to action at the end as well. To get started, uh, you can sign up here. So that's a superb um, ability to have in the middle of a conversation there. And of course, you can do this for your specific business. I could have also made it extremely clear that uh, in the tuning AI here that it must gain the user's name, which would have further customized the email. Um, at the moment, it said, uh, dear valued dental professional, whereas, of course, it would have been better if it had the person's name. Well, I can make it do that. So that's fine. Now then, the next thing, let's just take a look at what else we can do with this. So these are just a few examples, as I say. The other really useful one for people who sell products online is to enable them to go and find out the status of their order. So let's now change our Tune AI prompt. I've enabled that particular action and I've used, um, used Shopify in this instance. So I've set up a Shopify store. I've placed an order um, so that we can do this demo right now. So now let's test that out. And I'm just going to put in here, can you tell me if my order is shipped yet? And then the chatbot will respond with the information that it wants. So it wants the uh, order name or number, um, order number 1001. And now we'll just go ahead and uh, check on the status of that order by connecting to your Shopify store and uh, finding out the status of the order. And there we go. So yes, I can confirm that your order 1001 has been shipped. The order status shows as fulfilled, which means it has been processed and shipped out. And then there's the order details there as well. And then also how to uh, track the order. So this is going to be really, really useful for uh, anyone who runs an e-commerce store or anyone who sells any kind of physical products online that um, you know wants to enable customers to help themselves and reduce support time and staff on live chat, all of that stuff with a simple prompt right here, um, just as literally as short as that will enable your chatbot to become very, very useful to your customers. So I hope you like this new integration. I think it's incredibly powerful that it's going to give you the ability to hook up to 7,000 different apps that are connected to Zapier and then carry out a variety of actions to make your chatbot more interactive and more useful than ever. So once again, this feature is available to anyone on any of our paid plans, such as the Essential Plan onwards. And then uh, you will find it in your account under integrations and there will be a, a full step by step tutorial uh, underneath this video um, by the time you watch this or just a few days afterwards.